Hi, and welcome to another video from visionmaths.com. This video is on gradients in graphs. The term gradient is simply a different term for the steepness of a slope. A positive gradient means a slope going upward, while a negative gradient means a slope goes downwards. To find the gradient of a straight line graph, we simply find two different points on the graph and note their coordinates down. Remembering x is across, followed by y to the sky. Noting our first set of coordinates here, we have 10 as our x coordinate and 8 as our y coordinate, followed by our second coordinate on the line, 6 along the x axis and 6 up the y. Now we have our two points and coordinates noted, we use the expression change in y coordinate, that's 8 minus 6 in our example here, divided by the change in the x coordinate, that's 10 minus 6 in this example. This gives us the answer 2 over 4, or when simplified, we reach 1 half or 0 0.5. Now we know this information, we can look to where the line in question crosses the y-axis. So when y equals 3, the equation of the gradient is y equals half x plus 3. Now we move on to another problem, finding the gradient of a point on a curve. We need to ensure the sketch we've made of our curve is accurate. If asked to draw by hand, ensure the line is curved and not a series of straight lines connecting reference points. To calculate the gradient of this curve, we must draw a tangent. A tangent is a line that touches the curve at only one point. So, the question we're given is to find out the gradient of the curve at the point 6, 11. This is impossible to do with just one coordinate, so instead we must find another reference point along the straight line tangent. We'll choose this point here, which, using a ruler, lines up to about 3.83. Remember, I'm using a computer and this will be much more accurate with a pen and a ruler. Now we have a line with two coordinates similar to the example we had before. So, again we follow our rule, change in y over the change in x, which gives us 11 minus 3 and 6 minus 3.8. That gives us 8 divided by 2.2, which gives us the answer 3.64. Now it's important to remember this is only an approximation and it becomes more accurate the more accurately you draw the graph. Finally, we'll move on to parallel lines. Parallel lines are two lines that have the same gradient. First off, you can see I've marked our coordinates to be used already. I'm going to use the same coordinates for x on both lines for an easy comparison. Beginning with 7, 9 as our first coordinate, followed by 2, 5. Again, remembering to first work out our change in y, that's 9 minus 5, and divide it by change in x, which is 7 minus 2, we get the equation 4 over 5, which also equals 0 0.8. So we know the equation of our line is going to be y minus 0 0.8x, and we take a look to see where the line crosses the y-axis to see that it touches at 4, so we simply add 4. We repeat this for the second line using the coordinates 7, 6 and 2, 2. Again, we know it will be parallel using the same coordinates as the x-axis. However, the theory will work just as well with any other practice question. So, going through using the difference in y over the difference in x, we find again our equation results in 4 over 5 or 0.8. So, our line will be y equals 0.8x plus 1.5, where it crosses at our y-axis. So even if you use completely obscure coordinates for each of your gradients, you should find that the equation for the line will be exactly the same for the y equals x part of the equation, and the final additional part of the expression will be different, as the lines will have to cross at different points for them to be parallel. Remember the questions may try tricking you and show what look like parallel lines, particularly if the graph is not accurate, it's only through using the concepts explained here that we can truly be sure. Thanks again for watching and remember to subscribe for more maths revision videos or go to revisionmaths.com for more examples and material.